the process of building a beautiful website. You're getting all your content ready, you're getting your colors ready, everything is looking great. However, you have this pesky underline on a hyperlink. So you'll see here for all the different heading styles, I have created a bit of the text to be a hyperlink so you can see how it looks uh, and feels. What we're gonna do in this video, I am gonna walk through how to remove the hyperlink dependent on what style of character it is uh, or what style of font it is. If it's a heading one, two, three, four, or paragraph one, two, three, I'm gonna show you how to remove the underline because you may, you may wanna do it across your entire site, but you may wanna keep it for a few links. For example, paragraph text, paragraph two, you may wanna keep it, uh, but for other parts of your site, you may want to remove it. The place that people want to remove it the most often I've seen is the footer. So you'll see here, uh, this might not be ideal. So I'm also gonna show you how to remove it just from the footer, uh, perhaps if this is a heading two. I don't know what it is off the top of my head, but if it's a heading two and you wanna keep it so it shows up here, but it doesn't show up here, I'll show you how to do that as well. So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we want to do is up here at the top, what I'm gonna do is I am going to go to design and I am gonna to go to custom CSS. Let me just move all this down out of the way. What I wanna do first is we wanna find out what we're targeting. So you'll see it says heading one or heading two, but your text will say, this is my store or whatever. So I'm gonna double click into this for a moment and just show you what we're looking at. So when I hover my cursor over here at heading one, where it says heading one, you'll see here it says heading one. And that's what's important. It doesn't matter what it says here, it matters what it says here. So when I hover over here, all of these are labeled because I wrote them, but you'll see that with just simply clicking in, you'll see what heading you're working with or paragraph text. Now, when I'm in here, what I wanna do, let's start with heading one. So heading one, the shortcut or the code for that is just H1. And then what we want to do, we want to target the hyperlink. So what does that mean? Anytime with code, if it's a link, we add in an A and I'll show you, you'll understand this more as we go. Now this underline is considered text decoration, so we're gonna call it that, and then I'm gonna put none. And you'll see here, it's not, nothing's changed. The one thing we need to add is a tag that makes it superior to the current tag, and just like that, it has been removed. So there's a few components here. To keep it as simple as possible, if you're just wanting to copy and paste, you basically just copy all of this, paste it into the custom CSS here, and you're good to go. Only thing you'll need to change from there is this. If you wanna do it for say H2, you'll see it goes away here, and then for H3, same thing, and you could keep going. But let's say you wanna do it for a few styles. Let's see what that can look like. So here I'm gonna do it for H1. So the way we do it for a few styles, a simple method is we just continue to add in the other styles we want to target. So H1A for the hyperlink, Let's do H2A, and let's do H3A, and let's do H4A. So you see here, it's removed it off of all of the headings. Now let's do it for the paragraph text. And I'm just gonna do a separate one just so we could see it. And let me pull this up. I'm gonna hit inspect. I'm gonna pull up the code here. So you'll see here, these are all tagged H1, 2, 3, 4. And then all of these are tagged P with a certain class. So I'm not gonna go into the details of how to highlight this for the specific class uh, outside of just doing it for all paragraph styles, all right? So the only thing we'll need to do here is go P A, and you'll see it's removed it from all the styles. Now again, if you wanna target one specifically, you'd have to do it for a class and go from there. But for now, that handles that. Now let's take a look here. What's this monospace tagged with? And you'll see just by adding that in, we're good to go. So it's removed it from all styles. Now let's just say I wanna keep it for, let's just say I wanna keep it for these styles. That's perfect. Good to go, I'm set. And hey, what the heck, I said I wouldn't do this, but let's give it a try. Okay, so if I copy that class, Okay, so what I've done is I just copied the class. I added a period right before to mark the class and then added the A. And so I was able to remove it just from paragraph one. If I just want to remove it there and then keep it just for the text styles here. Paragraph two and three are 
very similar. So, uh, and this is a paragraph too, so it's the same thing as this. So you see here, we've changed it for now all of these different options, which is great. Now we have full control. We could adjust it how we like. Now let's go to the footer. So earlier, you'll see here that these are exactly the same. The reason is because they're probably a paragraph too. Let me just hit save for a moment. Okay, so let's take a look here. So I'm going to go there and then hit inspect. And you'll see here it's labeled as P and then with the A. So that's perfect. So this is what we want to do. Footer, the purple text like that, and then go P and then A, and then do text decoration, none, important, boom. And now it has removed it from the footer specifically. So you'll see here, this is targeting paragraph text. And if you go all the way back up, you'll see that this is still underlining. If you want to change the color, you could do that natively in the site styles, but this is the best way to, as of right now, to change the text decoration or the underline to be removed so that it could still be a hyperlink. As you could see when I hover over it, my cursor changes to this little hand, uh, but keep the functionality, but make it a little bit more crisp and beautiful. And the video is basically done, but I do want to just highlight this a little bit further for people. So if you have any questions as you're implementing, it'll be easy for you to do. All right. So this code up here is targeting H1, H2, H3, and H4. If you just want to target one of those or all three or all four of them, or just three of them, you could just easily remove this part of, of any of them. This is targeting paragraph one text. So here, this like Squarespace RTE large is targeting this text here, this paragraph one right there. Uh, and then here, this is code for the monospace. If you're trying to adjust the monospace text and then the footer, this is just for the footer. Now with that said, you can probably uh, combine all of these. Uh, so for example, this code A you can go with a comma and that there and this and the footer can all go into one. So you can just have one line of code basically that handles all of this, but it is up to you, your options and preferences here. And last note, you'll need to add this important tag. In most cases, you'll probably have to add this important tag. So you just add an exclamation point and then important and you're good to go. Hey guys, thank you for watching today's video. If you got value from this video, hit that like button. When you hit the like button, it lets the YouTube algorithm know some important information, but it lets me know that you got value from this content. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. And with that, if you got value from this video and if you're looking for more content just like this, I publish a new video every single week, if not multiple videos every week, hit that subscribe button. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.